Many people start a new year by focusing on makeovers. New exercise program, better eating habits, more organized workspace, improved strategic planning, maybe paying off a debt. Whatever your list looks like, I'm guessing that one item doesn't appear there. Adding new communication tools. Why? Two reasons. Most people consider themselves better than average communicators, according to surveys. And two, as one communication strategist recently mentioned, many executives themselves don't really understand the finer points of communication. Instead, they delegate the difficult assignments to communication specialists. Give me talking points on that. Or put together a PowerPoint on that one for me and I'll take it to the meeting. Yet, if we were all excellent communicators, why would there be so many divorces? So many people leaving their jobs because they just can't get along with their boss. Such gridlock in Congress. So many lawsuits involving misinterpretation of agreements. You see any room for self-improvement? If so, I offer a few communication resolutions that you may want to consider for the upcoming year. One, master your emotions before you speak. Two, adjust your tone of voice to show respect for other people. Three, listen more than you talk if you intend to build rapport. Four, apologize when you're wrong. Own up to your mistakes. Five, refuse to ramble when asked a question or an opinion. Think before responding. Six, simplify your message. Cut the clutter. Drop the jargon. Seven, appeal to the heart as well as to the mind if you intend to persuade or influence others. Eight, overview, then elaborate. Never start with the details, the background, and work your way to the key point. And by the way, that applies to voicemail, writing, to presenting, in any context. Nine, state the action you want. Don't assume, hint, or imply it. And ten, help the other person win or at least not to lose if you intend to settle a conflict and sustain the relationship. The payoffs are promising. You can influence clients and colleagues to support the ideas you propose, keep projects running smoothly, on time, within budget, completed as envisioned, negotiate wisely, get along with your family members, stay happily married or unmarried as the case may be, encourage your children to make the best decisions, you could build a culture of trust and loyalty, and you could discuss issues rationally and come to mutually acceptable decisions. Are there any communication resolutions yet there on your list this year? If so, jot those in the comment box below.